Hey guys, so today I thought I would switch things up and take you to the Dollar Tree with me because I've never done it before So it's gonna feel weird like pulling my camera out there for sure, but the Dollar Tree is my favorite store I just love it so much today. I am going mostly to make Easter baskets for my kids I'm so excited. So I'm actually DIYing the Easter baskets this year We have always had them But I just want to make them special to them because now my kids personality is coming out more So for Jerry, I'm going to make him a blaze the Monster Machines Easter basket. And for some, I'm going to make an Alma one. And so I got two red little Easter basket looking things from Party City, because that's the only place that had red ones. And I'm gonna DIY them. So they have Cricut vinyl at the Dollar Tree, not very good quality, but you know, it's more inexpensive there. So let's just go and see what we can find. I'm super excited to take it. All right, let's go. Ooh, my earrings just came It's also a very windy day today. Um, as you can see my hair blowing in the wind, I don't even hear me, but yeah, let's do this. Yeah, come. Okay, all the Easter stuff is right there. So I really haven't been in the Dollar Tree in a really long time. So I'm just kind of taking it all in. They got a lot of cute things here for like Easter baskets. So let, let me take a look at this. Don't think I'm gonna get bunny ears. Ball shooter. I'm gonna skip this section for now. Might just end up putting like toys in there or something. This is all the goodies. This is a little overwhelming, guys. Can't believe they have like Barbies here. <laughs> oh, what? These are new. Oh my gosh, I'm totally getting these. Oh, this is perfect for Son. He loves blue and he loves dinosaurs. And then Jerry loves green. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get these. But this red and yellow one's really cool too. I think I might get this one instead, actually. Cute. Okay, so instead of a cart, I actually brought this bag with me. It's just a lot easier, so. These are the ones I choose for kids, so. First thing. So they do like these, especially some. He really likes stuff like this, so I think I'm gonna get this for him. I gotta get some Easter things. I don't think Jerry will care for it, really. I'm not gonna get them identical bags, just kind of more what suits them. So I gotta keep looking. Oh my gosh, I just noticed this. So Tom loves dinosaurs and Jerry loves trucks. Well, they both really like trucks, but I love this because it's only $1.25 and they're so big. And lately they've been coloring a little bit more and it comes with stickers. So good. I'm definitely gonna get one of each. These are really cool. I think I, my kids would really like this. Gosh, I don't even think I would have fit everything in these baskets. So let's see what colors they have. Orange. I feel like I have to get them each one. I might have to end up getting them each something so that they don't fight over it. But yeah, I'm definitely getting these. They're nice and big. I always love when I can get them big things on the Dollar Tree. This also says water toys. I'm wondering if they can use this in their bath. I think that'd be really fun. But I feel like, I don't know. This one's pretty cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is that worth it? I think it is. I'm gonna put it in. <laughs> you see, I have to go back and get one of these now because I don't want one of them to have something that the other doesn't. Okay, this is the vinyl section. Really hoping. Okay, I do need, what is this? Is this white? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is white. I wish it would like say, or is it gray? I'm pretty sure it's white. <laughs> Why does it not say if it's white or not? I think it is. It's just making me a little nervous, but I guess it doesn't have to be like pure white. I'll put this in there. And then I also need blue and gray. Blue, these are like weird blues, like aqua. Okay, this one is a little more blue. Let's look at that. And then I need gray. I don't think they have it. Okay, and then I'm also gonna get some things that I've just been needing. So this, <laughs> I think it's a car mat, but we actually use it to put um, the animal's food on because it's just a nice grip to it. And it's only $1.25. And then I also need some of these because we ran out and they're just obviously so inexpensive here. We'll just get random ones. I think we need about three. Um, two. 
Okay, so I think I'm done. So now I just look at usually everything in my bag. I'm gonna put you guys right here. <laughs> Back and then swap it for like another Easter goodie. Okay, this honestly would be really cute. I really don't like to get my kids candy. Obviously, it is an exception with Easter and holidays and stuff, but I might get this. But I kind of wanted to get something like big, but I just didn't want to get like a big chocolate or all the other thing I can think of is this uh, cotton candy. It would be nice to put in there. Also, the Easter basket that I'm getting is not that big either, so I'm gonna just get this. It would be really cute for pictures. Okay, so I'm testing it because this is about the size of the Easter basket I got. This does fit if you turn it. And I feel like this is more than enough. And then like something like this to split between them. I wouldn't put it in alone, but I don't want to do too much, you know? I think that's perfect. All right, so I spent, it was 18, it was 1988. I really wanted to only spend $20 or less, which is perfect. And then I had $5 cash that I just randomly found in my bag, which is awesome. So I just used it towards it because I just like to put down the co total cost as much as I can. So cash everything up on the Dollar Tree. And once I go home, I'm going to put everything together and make the Easter basket. So I hope you guys keep watching so that you can see me do that. So before I put the Easter baskets together, I wanted to show you guys a really quick overview of how I made the faces for the Easter baskets. So I hope you enjoy a little bit of the behind the scenes. So here I just saved a PNG file of Elmo and I'm really just erasing all the areas that I don't need. I'm doing the same thing for Blaze. I don't know if there's an, honestly an easier way to do this, but I really couldn't find any like simple images of his face. So I figured I would just have to kind of delete the areas that I don't need myself. So this kind of took me a little long. I ended up just selecting each of the objects to make it one color image because I know on Cricut it kind of separates it by colors. So this is the best way I knew I could do it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you have to do this for everything and Blaze is not as popular as like Elmo So it definitely took longer for me to do that Okay, and then I finally uploaded these images to Cricut and there's a whole tutorial on how to do this You basically have to separate them into layers so that you know to cut them on separate pieces of vinyl So I can link the video that I followed the tutorial to if you guys are interested. It was really really helpful also, I just want to know, I definitely did this the wrong way. I should have made a black base, just the outline of the entire face, and then adding the shapes on top of each layer so that it would just be easier for me overall. But this was my first time, so I honestly think it worked out just fine. It was just a little bit more complex than it needed to be. Okay, so I just spent a ton of time, but I just want to master it and learn this because I know I'll be using it for the future. That's why I was really trying to learn how to do this. I still am not quite there yet. However, I feel like I am ready to get this started. So let me show you my little <laughs> Cricut setups. This is what I have right now. I have this really cool table from Ikea. It actually comes out like this and then pull it out and there's a little knob there so you can put it in the leg. So. It's a great space saver. This is where I do all my Cricut projects because once you open this, um, the paper will like print out this way. So I really like putting it there. So let me get this situated first. Okay, so honestly, this is a very intimidating project. I mean, it's so simple, right? I'm just literally cutting out layers to put on here, but Cricut is one of those things that I don't really use often enough for me to feel like I really understand it. So, I mean, I got this vinyl uh, from the Dollar Tree. I'm so mad and I'm not, I'm not gonna go back to Dollar Tree unless if this is tragic. I looked back at the video, I saw a white right in front of my eyes, but I think it's because I was looking through the camera lens instead of real life that I grabbed a gr light gray and didn't even see the white, but this is really light gray to the point where it's almost white. So I think I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know if you can see here, I'll probably insert, but it only goes up to five inches wide. So I only really need to cut out a little bit. So I use this a lot. It's a very simple cutter. Let me, let me go on the ground actually. So I basically need to measure out to six by three just to be on the safe side. I am really mad. I really wish this was like pure white. But because the gray I was looking for, it wouldn't have really looked good if it was this light. It's just gonna have to do. It looks kind of white, right? <laughs> this is white. Okay, so now with this, I'm just gonna 
put it on here. I've used Dollar Store vinyl before. It's definitely not as good, like that's obvious, but I didn't think I needed to like go out and buy really, really good vinyl. I mean, this is a very inexpensive project. So I put it on there. So now let me split the camera. So this is basically what it's cutting out, the white parts of the image. All right, let's do continue. It's finding the Cricut machine. Okay, so when I looked at a tutorial, it said to do premium vinyl. Okay, and then this shows like that. And then it kind of push it in a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I've never done this before, guys. I literally have never done a layering project. Let me know if you guys have. Once it's ready, it should, yep. And then you press play. Now it's working its thing. Let's look a little closer. I think I messed up already. Okay, that was definitely test one. Let me just like temporarily put it on and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is a test. This is how big it would be. I actually think that the, that's the perfect size, I, but I kind of need to do this again because this side got lost and I don't know where it is. I could literally just cut this. It's just because I'm trying to master cook it, okay? I'm trying to learn how to do it. Um, but I actually do like the size of this because these are really, really small Easter baskets. So I'm going to print it one more time because I have the same exact size. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so far so good. It's like the little pieces because the vinyl is so fragile and thin. Yay! It worked. Okay, right, I'm glad I did it a second time because it worked. So I'm gonna take this whole thing off and then I'm gonna peel it just at the very end so I can just make sure. Oh my gosh, this, <laughs> this Dollar Tree vinyl is not it. We're just doing this because I'm not a pro and it was super inexpensive. Let me get to the next one. All right, so this is the gray. I literally sent Matt out to do a Michael's pickup order for me. I didn't want to get a whole roll and it was only with a coupon. It was like a dollar something from Michael's. So yeah, look, this compared to this, this is, does not look great compared to this. Okay, so I only have one sheet of this, so I can't really mess up, but I'm gonna do the same thing. This one's definitely better than the dollar store one, which is good. Let's just stick it on. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I don't know if you could see it. You see that? So good! So clearly, the more expensive vinyl is way better than Dollar Tree. I'll link which one I got. It's just a single sheet though. Okay, so my kids are in here, so you'll be able to hear them, but now I'm going to do the black. I already had a black Dollar Tree vinyl. Yay. You can kind of see the pieces there. Oh, this is so cheap. It like sticks to the back. Ah! It's gotta be really slow when you take it off. Okay. okay, and last but not least, it's not the best blue, but it was a blue. Here is the last crafter square. Compared to blue, it's not as good. But you get like a whole, look, for $1.25, that is so good. Okay. I got a whole roll just for that little bit of blue. That's why it's good to have like every color and have a good binder full of them and keep your scrap paper. Take this off slowly and then straight over. Uh-oh. I need the outside ring, so this is okay that that happened. Okay, so now I'm gonna print this. I'm so mad because this is gray. For this one, it didn't matter as much. This is definitely gray, but I have no idea how it's gonna look because for eyes, it'll definitely look a little strange, but it's a very small part. Okay, Dollar Tree vinyl. Come see how much space. Last piece. Okay, so now I just have to weed everything. So let's see how this Dollar Tree is 
stuff to eat. Almost a little bit too easy. So here what I'm doing is I'm putting transfer tape onto the vinyl because the idea here is that once it peels off, which it did, I can then put it on whatever surface I want. And as you can see here, it literally did not stick on to the surface and it should have. I think the reason for this is because the dollar store vinyl is really, really cheap quality and the transfer tape that I use is very strong and durable, but this really shouldn't happen if you were to just re use regular vinyl. <laughs> Okay, this is so strong compared to the D. I have to do this black one again. So what I ended up doing is I reprinted it and then I just pasted it myself onto the surface. This is not ideal because there's a much better way to do this, but it still worked for me in the end. That's what you get for using cheap vinyl. This is the end result for this. Actually, it's really good from far away, but if you look close, you'll see it's definitely not perfect. But that's okay, because this is from the Dollar Tree, and it's the best we could do. So yeah, like I mentioned earlier, you could see that it cut out the literal outline of the eyes, but what I should have done was make a base layer, so it was basically like a whole shadow layer, if that makes sense, rather than cutting it so thin on the edges, because then at the end here, you see that there's gaps between like the eyes and everything. Like it shouldn't be like that. It should just be more cohesive. So next time I would definitely try to make sure I can print them in actual shadow-ish layers rather than individual pieces, if that makes sense. All right, it's been several days since I filmed this and we actually have attended our first Easter egg hunt already. The boys absolutely love their Easter baskets. So essentially the fun thing would have been to just like give it to them the first time on Easter with all the goodies in it. But I wasn't gonna wait until then because there are Easter egg hunts that we're trying to participate in before Easter. They're all happening before Easter. So I had to just give these to them. So on the day of the Easter egg hunt that we went to, I was like, all right, boys, we're ready to go. And then I was like, you need your Easter baskets. And I gave them this, they loved it. I was so happy. The only thing I'm sad about is this part broke off of here and I tried to fix it with super glue and it just, the way that it broke off didn't really allow that to work. So I had to put this rubber band around it, but it's fine. I mean, it still hold, held the Easter eggs pretty good. So now I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when I fill it, but we have another Easter egg hunt that we're gonna go to, a few more actually. So I just wanna show you what it looks like when I fill it, but um, I'm gonna end up having to take it out. Okay, so let's put them here. So these humongous, <laughs> I'm so happy about this because I feel like Easter baskets are really fun when they're like big. So love that it fits if you kind of like turn it and it kind of like will hold everything else in there. I'm so excited. I feel like this brings like the wow factor. You know what I mean? For kids, you just want it to be like a huge wow factor and this definitely brings it. So love that. This is the next big thing. As I mentioned earlier, it doesn't really look cute. Like I'm not a fan of some of the Dollar Tree, to all their tree branding. Um, and this is one of them. I don't really like the way it looks, but we like to go outside a lot and they both love airplanes. So this, I believe is gonna be such a huge hit. Super inexpensive, but just very fun to play with. So I thought that was a good one. It's also like just as tall as this, which is kind of nice. Then I have to get them one Easter toy. I'm never really a huge fan of like the little seasonal goodies that they have. I mean, they're cute little stocking stuffers, but I do like to get things that the kids will actually play with rather as opposed to just like the look of it. But I feel like I had to get one thing. And if I had to get one thing that was Easter related, these are really good because I don't know, I just feel like the kids think these are funny. I mean, they won't like play with them forever, but like we do have a toy kind of like this and like every time they see it, they'll like want me to wind it up. So I thought this was a really good one to just add in there. And then what else do I get? Oh yeah, so the one toy that they'll actually really, really love <laughs> are these monster trucks. They both love monster trucks. And I ended up getting Jerry the one with the neon orange tires because I felt like they were more fun than the other ones. And you can't have an Easter basket without at least one edible treat. So I got these little selfie lip pops. And yeah, I was surprised to see on Amazon that they were uh, five bucks and they were only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So. Oh, perfect. So they each come with a duck and a bunny. So I'll give them each one of each. Okay, so this is not how I'm actually gonna arrange them. I just wanted to like put them in there first. So now I'm gonna actually beautify them. 
and I forgot to get Easter grass, but I already had this and I wasn't about to go in this is from the Dollar Tree, but this is perfect. It's like kind of Easter, Easter, Easter colors and it's not a lot, but because there's so like many within it, if you just like spread it out, there's always like way more than it seems. So this kind of helps just obviously fill out the uh, dead space and also just makes it look better. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, um, so they kind of look the same, but it kind of helped fill the space in a little bit more to make it higher. But these are Easter baskets. I'm so happy with them. I'm not sure yet. I mean, probably not because they're kits, but something that you can do is, I think it's called cellophane uh, wrap. I could be saying that really wrong. You could always put that, tie it around, tie like a bow on it. Oh, also, you know what? I might put Easter, like two plastic Easter eggs in here maybe with like another treat or like a dollar in each of them. Oh, that sounds good. That's that's actually fun. Um, Cause they love like, they both have, they have piggy pinks. So they like to put like quarters in there. I think that's a really good idea. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think any, like a cute addition could have been like bubbles, which we actually have unopened bubbles around. Kids love bubbles. So um, yeah, I really am so happy with this. I feel like if you buy a pre-made one, it's like 20 bucks. And this is just so much more catered to them. And it was so inexpensive. I would say in total, it was one, two, three, four, five dollars for the things inside the baskets. For the baskets themselves, they were 250. And then the Cricut vinyl ended up being three dollars because I already had two of the vinyls. So I think it was really inexpensive and it's just special and fun. I love to do this. So let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy this, if you want to see more, or if you're not really as interested in like the parts where I put them together, if you just kind of see the finished product, yeah. Let me know, I'm always open to hearing your feedback. So I ended up adding two extra things. I found these two cookie cutter crosses that I wanted to add in, and then I added in the golden eggs with the coins in them. Okay guys, this is actually the real finished product. I ended up adding a, a cookie cutter cross in there. I felt like there definitely had to be an element of the actual reason for the season, which is Jesus raising from the dead. It's still definitely a hard concept to teach kids, but it's never too early to teach them about it. So obviously that's really good. And I was upset that I didn't really think about it earlier, to be honest, but that's just me being honest. And then I did end up putting a little gold egg on each of their baskets. And I've just put a bunch of little coins in there so that um, once they open it, we can put it in their piggy banks. But yeah, this is the finished product and I hope you guys really enjoyed this. All right, see you in the next one. And happy Easter, of course. Here's your Thank you.